you. Good morning, Alex. Are you among those 177 that plan to vote no on the bill when the vote comes down? I will vote no on the bill. This is not a moderate bill. It's a it's a bill that that really uh, really does have a government takeover of our health care system, raises taxes significantly, does nothing to control costs in health health care. In fact, in fact, makes health care more expensive, explodes the deficit, and ultimately will cost us jobs. Particularly after getting the unemployment numbers with the nation at 10.2 percent, my my state at over 15 percent unemployment, the level of government spending and taxes that occur in this bill are unacceptable. And I think you'll see most Republicans, frankly, all Republicans vote no on it. How confident are you that there will be a vote today? And if there is not a vote, as some Democrats have suggested, it would be uh, due to the fact there have been delay tactics put out there by Republicans. Well, we can't delay anything. We don't control the House. We don't control the process. They have a vast majority over us. I think if there's a delay, it's because the Democrats haven't come together and agreed to support the bill. And there are problems with the bill. There are Democrats who are concerned about the rising costs of health care, uh, the fact that this bill explodes a deficit, that, that it has 111 bureaucracies created, thousands of federal employees will have to be hired. The individual mandate, there'll be 9 million people who lose their health care that will have to pay a penalty if they don't pay the penalty, they'll go to jail. I think some of this high-handed government reach down and control is really something that even some Democrats oppose. And, and there are common, there is some common ground. I think, for example, our bill, which covers pre-existing condition, which is really trying to keep insurance companies from capping limits and from throwing people off their policy. Those are some things that I think we have in common that we hopefully should have built a bill around. And maybe in the process as it moves forward, we can. When you look back, and this may be a bit of revisionist history, but do you Republicans wish that they had taken the bull by the horns themselves and taken control of the health care debate when they had uh, more power in Congress and were running the show? I mean, it, what happened there? Why was that not done effectively? Well, we actually did a lot with health care. We were the first uh, group to actually bring prevention into Medicare. We created Medicare Advantage, which is the supplemental Medicare for millions of seniors across the country. We expanded health savings accounts for people to save and be able to plan for their own health care. Uh, we, we actually had a lot of reform. Obviously, Medicare Part D, the prescription drug benefit, was a significant reform in health care. We did a lot. Um, I think they actually started off in the right way. They were actually pretty bipartisan earlier on in the year, and then about March 1st, they kind of went behind closed doors with themselves and decided to be uh, play with the Democrats but, only. But regardless of all that the Republicans accomplished relevant to health care, we are still where we are today. We need health care reform. We do need health care reform, and we believe that uh, an approach that actually takes a first step toward comprehensive health care reform is smarter to do in this difficult economic time with unemployment so high, the deficit exploding, the debt exploding. We think there was a, a better way to do this, and but, some of the concepts that we have are in both bills, as I mentioned earlier. But, but why, again, why weren't those first steps taken with Republicans who would then be able to write their own prescription for health care reform? I think a major step was taken. Seniors no longer have to choose between food and medicine. It's a very popular program. It's actually come in under projected cost. I think that's the first time in history. We did we, we made a significant change in Medicare by adding wellness and prevention, which had never been done in the in the, the 40 years the Democrats had control. We made significant improvements and changes. So I think it's just important to really say we, we did a lot when we were in the majority on the health care issue. Did you do enough? Look, there's always more you can do, and I think it would have been better to continue that uh, uh, improvement in health care that we started and continue on a step-by-step -step approach to comprehensive reform. I think this one gigantic bill is very risky. There's a lot of bad things in it. There's a lot of unintended consequences that are going to be in a bill of 2,000 pages. I think it would have been better to continue along the path that we started for comprehensive health re care reform and health care for all Americans. Is there room for compromise anywhere here that you think would get Republicans? or a Republican to cross the aisle even today? I, I don't think so. I, I think this is pretty well set. As you know, under the House, we don't get to offer any amendments today. It's really a take-it-or-leave-it approach at this point. And the Senate will be very different where they can actually amend the bill and, and make changes, and I think you could see a very different uh, scenario play out there. But for here, this is take-it-or-leave-it, and I think most Republicans will say this is not the appropriate uh, vehicle to support. Bottom line, do you think we're going to see Congress pass health care reform this year? 
Uh, I think that the House will pass this bill. Whether it gets to the president's desk, I think, is still very much an open question. It oh. really depends on what path. If it if it takes a more moderate approach, possibly, but certainly not the direction this bill's going in. Republican Congressman Dave Camp, at the beginning of a long day today thank for you. you and other congressional members. Thank you for your time on MSNBC Saturday. Thanks a lot, Alex. Keep it here for continuing coverage of the battle over health care reform.